Hello everybody, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. You're here because you've seen the announcement in the Discord or the thumbnail for this really high FPS. One thing I want to get straight right away with everybody is this does not provide you a good looking game. What I have done is I have gone into these settings and I've gone into custom shaders patch and I've basically taken out any little thing that might cause performance issues and if there's something that you can enable to actually decrease things such as stuff like this I'm also doing all of that as well so that's what you're looking at today is the maximum FPS settings that you can get in content manager for a set of course of video and for custom shaders patch these settings here are not going to be settings that are going to make your game look good these are settings that are going to make your game run good but what I'll do here for you guys today is I'm going to quickly go over everything that I've changed that is going to be responsible for making your game actually look good so if you want to have the lowest of the low settings but have a decent looking game we're gonna go ahead and do 2x MSAA 8x anti-sotropic filtering will enable post-processing filter for FXAA anti-aliasing and we'll use SOL extra as a default and we'll leave everything else how it is except for shadows if you want to have a little bit of shadows let's go 256 and if you want a little bit of reflections we'll do the absolute minimum reflections that we can do this setting here is going to make it so you are a little more smooth on the edges the game will look a bit better so I'm gonna save this one as lowest spec smooth for everybody and the next thing that we'll do is we'll go into custom shaders patch and we'll explain some of the things here for you reflections effects if you're not happy with how your reflections are looking at all with these low settings and you need to have better reflections go ahead and activate this this is going to fix your really bad reflections if you're sick of the lighting and how the lighting looks on the road and on the cars we can go ahead and turn on lighting effects we can keep the cars casting lights down to five and we can increase it if our FPS is good and everything looks good I highly recommend if you do enable lighting effects and you do care about performance go ahead and disable enable lighting in reflections if you take that off that will be a big performance difference just under the lighting effects section itself the other thing we can do if we're not happy with some of our lights and kind of how post processing post processing effects are working let's go ahead and switch this to FXAA 3.11 by NVIDIA 2015 if you're on an Intel system it may be worth to try using CMAA 2.0 by Intel 2018 if you're noticing that you're getting performance drops really really badly with the NVIDIA one go ahead and try the CMAA one when we do this the other thing that we need to do is hit full resolution for better quality under accessible color buffer so now our game will look a little better again I have weather effects disabled by default so if you are on pure or SOL all you need to do is activate this and pick your preferred weather effects now for the most part everything now is going to most likely run better than it was before for you know this is a set of course it is a computer it's not going to work for everybody for some reason the other big part of this you guys to get good performance I could do this all day and I can give you guys every setting in the world but it's not going to guarantee anything 
unless you come into this section of the Discord and you check out what we have here. This isn't completely updated either, but if you come in here and you go to the CPU fixes and optimization, the 90 plus FPS guide, it's got 130,000 views now. You go and check out this stuff. CSP graphical bugs, max FPS guide, remove OneDrive, Windows optimization, Windows optimization, lower render latency. These are the videos and the resources that are going to provide you with the best possible experience that you can have on your computer. All of this stuff that I have open right now, and if I go to my users, there is a lot of things running here. Like, look at that. I have a whole screen of just internet stuff that can be disabled. I have everything disabled under my startup, basically. I have all my notifications turned off on Windows. I've got OneDrive removed. There's just tons of things that you can do. But this is where you start. Start with Assetto Corsa real quick. Get these settings. Super easy to install. Everything is in the description ready to go for you. And if your game is still running terrible and you have a decent kind of PC, please go to the Discord and follow this stuff. This is going to be the ultimate difference in not just Assetto Corsa, but also your whole entire PC. So if you've got the settings and they're not working properly or you're having a hard time, you come into this Discord, you read the rules, you scroll down, and you go to that help desk, you go to the general chat, you go to the CSP, you go to the error fix videos. Sorry, I said general chat because it was highlighted. That was my bad. Don't go to the general chat for any help. Please don't do that. Let's pretend I never said that. And if you didn't know, there's also US traffic servers here. Now my traffic server list right now is light. There will be a bunch of updates coming to this in the very, very near future. But I have some goals and some ambitions with these servers. And I'm really taking my time with them while I play some other games. And I'm trying to just slowly build a really good car list that is going to have cars that people want to drive, that feel good, that aren't putting everybody's Logitech wheel through their desk when they hit a wall. And I just want to try and make the effort to find some better cars and some better content because quite frankly, if I were honest, all of these new cars coming out with our AAA tires feel almost exactly the same. They have a little bit of body roll. They have rough feedback when you hit a wall, if you hit the traffic. The wheel, it just doesn't feel right. And that's the issue that I want to get away from. I want to start finding some cars that are really good with default tires. And I want to find people that are willing to send me cars that I can tune with the data and spend 15, 20 hours on and actually make a realistic vehicle or a vehicle that feels good at least without relying on a generic tire script to hope that it makes my vehicles handle how I want them to. So that's pretty much it guys. Again, just the settings here, they'll all be in the description with all of the links. And your game should kind of be good. Hopefully this works for you guys. If it doesn't work, please just let me know. Send me a direct message or something. Post in the Discord in the help chat. Just do something so you can show me that the issue that you're having, we can talk about it for a minute. I can't spend all day helping people anymore. That's why I have all of these settings posted. That's why I'm taking all this time while I'm just hanging out doing stuff to try and accommodate for everybody. The community has almost 10,000 people now. It's still growing strong and I still want to keep up and help you guys out and continue on this journey to have good graphics with good running performance in good servers and help people optimize their PCs and just keep doing 
what I've been doing. So I apologize if I haven't been in the help chat every day as much as I have been in the past. You know, things do change over time. People do get a little busier. People do start having different ideas and things that they want to do. But do know that a set of courses in my heart big time and we are making a comeback and we are doing some really cool stuff and there's some exciting projects on the way. Have a great every, have a great day everybody. Stay gaming. And just remember, it's not about what you got, it's about how you set it up. Have a good day everybody.